Human Body, Skeletal and Muscular System Part 2 Joints We are able to move our skeleton at the point where two bones meet. The point where the three bones, femur, tibia and fibula meet is called a joint. Joints perform two main functions. One, they hold the bones together to form the skeleton and two, they allow the skeleton to move which would otherwise be rigid. Types of joints. There are many different kinds of joints. Some are immovable joints while some are movable. The joints in the skull are immovable joints and do not allow any movement. There are many different kinds of movable joints that allow different kinds of movements. Ball and socket joint. They are found in hip and shoulder and allow maximum mobility. We are able to swing our arms and legs in many directions because of this joint. Gliding joint. This is found in the bones of wrist and ankles. Movement happens when the surface of two flat bones glide by sliding over each other. Hinge joint. These are found mainly in the knee and elbow. The movement that this joint allows is very similar to the opening and closing of hinge door. Hence the name. Pivot joint. This is found mainly in the neck. It allows movement of the head from side to side. Saddle joint. These are found only in thumbs. They allow a back and froth rocking movement as well as from side to side. This joint however has a limited rotation. Cartilage. Cartilage is a substance that is not as hard and rigid as a bone but is tough and elastic. It is stiffer and less flexible than a muscle. We find cartilages at the edges of joints so that bones do not rub against each other while moving. It there acts as a cushion and protects the bones from damage while movement. They are found in several places in our body. The outer ear and nose are organs made mostly of cartilages. The muscular system. The skeletal system needs the muscular system to ensure complete movement. Therefore, we call it the musculoskeletal system. Besides, the bones and joints, our body needs muscles for movement. Muscles can be either voluntary or involuntary. Voluntary muscles are those that are found in places like arms and legs, where we decide when to move them. Involuntary muscles move without any control from us. Such muscles are found inside the stomach, the intestines, the heart, etc. Muscles allow movement by contraction and expansion. There are three types of muscles. Skeletal muscles, smooth muscles and cardiac muscles. Skeletal muscles help the body to move and are voluntary muscles. They are found at places like we move at our will, like the arms, the legs, the face, etc. Smooth muscles are involuntary muscles. They are found in our internal organs like stomach, intestines, food pipe, etc. Cardiac muscles are involuntary muscles. Muscles, bones and joints together form the main machinery for movement. They are found only in the heart. All is coordinated by a specialized organ system called the nervous system. Now let's recall. Our body is supported by a framework of bones called the skeleton. The human skeleton system consists of bones, joints and cartilage. Bones are hard part of the body. Inside the bones, there is a soft jelly-like substance called the marrow. Different parts of the skeleton protect different important organs of the body. These joints formed between bones allow movement. Cartilage is a substance that is not as hard and rigid as bone, but tough and elastic. Muscles can be either voluntary or involuntary.